Hola and welcome or welcome back to Kim at Home. As you can see, we're gonna jump right into today's video. I have all kinds of motivation for you. I'm gonna be doing some deep cleaning and I'm going to also visit a potential client's house to see what I can do to help them out as they moved into their new apartment. I was taking my sheets off my bed and before I actually make the bed, I wanna make sure that I do a gypsy couch clean on my backboard, headboard, whatever it's called, and also the bench that sits in front of my bed. In my bucket, I have the yellow Mr. Clean disinfectant got me a rag and I'm gonna put some gloves on and get to business. If you're a first timer on my channel, welcome. I am Kim, K-Y-M. I like to create content for you that will help you throughout the week to keep your house like up to par so that you're not spending your entire weekend cleaning your home. No one has time to get up on a Saturday morning and clean for eight hours. So how do you keep up with your home throughout the week? Well, thanks for asking. What I do every day is I clean something. So if I'm making a mess, I clean it up right away. If something's dusty, I dust it. If something's dirty, I clean it, instead of waiting until the weekend. The longer you wait, the more trouble it will be for you because you're gonna be all sweaty and putting so much muscle into things that could have been taken care of prior to that day. I also like to do DIYs, painting, car tutorials, and so many other things pertaining to home life. If you enjoy that type of content, please do not forget to hit subscribe, hit the like button, and show your girl some love in the comments. I know you don't wanna get hurt, but you'll have to take my word that I will love you, love you right back, love you right back. The smell in here is fantastic and the bed looks good. It's still a little bit wet, but I made it anyway and I have kind of made it the pillows up here. The pillowcases don't match because the other ones are in the laundry room. So I just kind of did it like that, but it doesn't matter because we're just going to sleep in it anyway. So my windows look good too. I would suggest dusting them off prior to like putting any kind of wet cloth on it, but I had done my dusting yesterday, so I was good to go. They look really good. Check out my brand new cordless glue gun. So I went to Michael's today and I want to make a floral arrangement in a box. So I got a few items. These are on sale. Well, the ones that I bought are not on sale. They are regular price. I didn't realize that until I got up to the line because this, this is for like fall. So here are some of the items that I got. I love these. They're like really, really pretty. So I'm going to make a flower box. I love the packaging and it looks so pretty. Here are all the glue sticks that it comes with, even glitter glue. Comes in a resealable pack. This is when you need to charge the battery. The batteries are already included. There's this handy dandy on button right here. All you have to do is turn it on. This glue gun is really, really nice. The packaging was amazing. It's really pretty, especially if you like pink and purple. It's the same as any other glue gun. It just doesn't have a cord. It's battery operated. So you're gonna stick your glue. Other side of you try. So what I'm gonna do is let this glue gun heat up a little bit and I'm just gonna arrange my flowers. I have a wire cutter, so I'm gonna cut them up and just try to figure out where I want them to go. My daughter bought some of these from the Dollar Tree for me. I am actually gonna cut it in half because I don't think I'm gonna need both of the big ones. I just need like thin ones. I'm gonna cut it in half and I will be right back. Just like that, they're cut and you know what? This is definitely a fun activity that you can have with your family members, no matter the age. All they have to do is just pick where they want the flowers to go. This is greenery that I've had for years and I never used it because I didn't really know what to, it, to do with it. So what I'm gonna do is kind of step this greenery around, random spots in this box, and we're gonna go from there. Picture perfect. You think you're gonna be rejected. Just see you. So I have my base down and I'm gonna fill in the rest with the flower stems. How are you doing today? Let me know below in the comments. The day that I'm actually recording this, it is pouring down raining outside. It has been raining for like two days now and we have a lot of flash flood warnings as well. I'm in a space right now in my life that if it's raining outside, I just try to do something productive in the house that's gonna like, you know, make my spirits brighter. <laughs> Rain really makes me sleepy. Let me know down below in the comments what you like to do when it's pouring down raining outside. 
Introducing dun 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 my flower box. It was so easy to put together. So pretty. I'm not quite finished with the glue gun yet. Um, Karia has a project that she's working on as well. She was working behind the scenes in case you did not see her. That is my youngest daughter. She's 11 years old. Her name is Karia. <gasps> Woo! That was one breath. <laughs> Here's the packaging, just like the glue gun. It's very, very pretty. I love the packaging. Be up close. So if you know someone who does a lot of crafting, this would be the perfect gift because anytime you have to deal with cords, it's not fun. The fact that this is cordless, I really, really like it. It comes with a cord so that you can recharge the battery once it dies, so that's amazing too. I'm really satisfied with it. So in case you're interested, which I hope you are, I will leave the information below in the description box. I would like to share some quotes with you that have really blessed me. The first one is, if you feel like there's something out there that you're supposed to be doing, if you have a passion for it, then stop wishing and just do it. The second one is, life is better when you cry a little, laugh a lot, and are thankful for everything you've got. I am so very thankful for each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it and I love to get to know you down in the comments. So please, if you're new, introduce yourself so that I could say hi and welcome to my channel. kitchen is looking much better. There are no more dishes in the sink. I had to take those out of that little doohickey right there. And here's all my trash. And then this over here, I just need to put that away. And then I also have to sweep the floor. I will not be sweeping the floor on camera. The other thing is every time I change up something in my home, I feel like it's a domino effect. I remove those wooden spoons and now I just have to find a home for them. Things are definitely changing in my kitchen. I just have to figure out what it is that I wanna change. I mean, I have some things in mind. However, I can be pretty indecisive, so I have to make sure it's something I love. I was challenged by Grammy to Love Mukbang. I will leave her information in my description box or in this video um, to make a burrito and to say, put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. So that's what I'm doing. Don't you see that you're a fool? We have all kinds of different peppers and onions, tomatoes from my mom's garden cilantro, my meat and my black beans. These were the only size tortillas that I had, so it's kind of like a taco, but we gonna say it's a burrito, okay? So I'm about to put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. Frank's red hot sauce. And that's what it's looking like. One, I'm about to tear it up. That was so good. As you can see, everything is gone. And yes, I do eat on fine china, meaning Dixie china. <laughs> I'm too lazy to do the dishes most of the time. An easy way to keep your sink clear is to just use the fine china, the Dixie china that is. I'm sick and tired of seeing you in pain. Your head's in a haze, won't you lean on me? I'll catch you if you fall, so take a leap of faith. Your fixed idea is clouding up your mind. Up your mind. Don't stop until common sense applies. The sun illuminates ahead. Need you to let go. I really, really just have to say this. I feel like apartment complexes are doing people dirty, like for real. It seems like each time a person moves, they don't clean up prior to the person moving in. So this apartment was really messy. It was really dirty. There was just grease caked up everywhere. The entire kitchen was just filled with grease and it had that weird smell. So I'm just over here trying to get this handled. With the amount of money that they are charging for rent, you would think that they would step up their game. It is standard procedure to paint in between tenants. And if a tenant has lived in the apartment for longer than, you know, a certain amount of time, you're supposed to change the carpet as well. They did nothing. Let go. 
Everything in the apartment is being wiped down with the yellow Mr. Clean disinfectant as well as vinegar. We definitely have to disinfect because it just was really gross. I also use Super Clean for all of the greasy spots, including the doors. Thank you again for watching my video today. If you are new here, I really, really hope that you decide to subscribe to the channel and join my Keep Up Crew family members here on YouTube. And I'm also really hoping that you will learn something from my videos, not just me sitting here cleaning, but me giving you tips and tricks. And that's why I wish you the best. That's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> So I was at my client's house today and I took care of some things in the kitchen. Everything was covered in grease, so I did use Super Clean. Super Clean works so well. I always have the information in my description box, so if you're interested, make sure you go below and you look. And also, the, basically the only thing I wanted to do today was the deep cleaning. So I just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek. I cleaned the doors when you first come in. It was the front door, it was also the closet door and the laundry room doors. And I also cleaned all the cabinets and the stove and the refrigerator. And let me tell you, these cabinets are a whole different color and it smells much better in here. This part I'm really, really, really proud of because I showed you guys what the before was. Obviously, there's so much more that can be done here. This area right here was completely dark brown and now it's not. There's some little cracks and crevices that I was not able to get into, but I'm telling you what, it looks a hell of a lot better. Thank you again for watching. Bye guys.